Welcome to the grand design series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. We're picking up on the 10th of April 1915. In the last part, the focus was very much on trying to get our vehicle manufacturer actually up and running. And I did get a comment about whether this is actually um, not really cheating because we are producing all the key resources from uh, crops and wood. And in a way it is cheating, but at the same time it's not because at the end of the day, this isn't really going to give us vast amounts of um, vehicles. In fact, all these setups here, including this um, horse veterinarian, as the game progresses, we are going to have to look for a, a few more superior options, whether we like it or not, because there's no way that this building here, you can see, the consumption is 0.07 plastics, one ton of steel, 0.01 mechanics for 15 tons of crops. So this is all right for this point in the game. But once we get past the 1930s, 1940s, things are going to get probably not that um, practical. Also, you also need to remember that these vehicles need quite a lot of resources in order to be able to produce even these very simple vehicles. Once we start getting to some of the more advanced vehicles, um, it's just not going to fly, to be honest. I mean, but at the moment, it's doing okay because we've produced a couple of bulldozers here, which is good. Now, in this part, I want to kind of do a mixture of detail um, planning and the organisation here, coupled with a get trying to get our railway up and running if we can afford it, because at the moment, we're kind of not really making that much money plus a little bit of long-term planning where are you going oh you're just one of our secret and by long-term planning i'm talking about getting a rail distribution office out here the reason for that is that um eventually once we get the railway built and sorted um we will need to be able to um use the distribution office to bring up the necessary resources from here and on that vein what i want to do for, uh, is get these buildings complete because this one's already got all the all the resources delivered so in fact i'm just wasting time here trying to get that one built i think this one is a cold store this one's not quite so important but you can see here that I think we could probably leave that one, but I think if I can get this built, also I think if we can get the that finished, although we're going to have to probably put workers on it because it's so short. So we're going to come here. I mean, it's not like our um, construction industries are overworked. Now I'm going to suspend that because I've, it's, I've been looking at vehicles and to be honest snow plows at the moment aren't particularly that viable and i'll explain that in more detail in a little while but at the moment i'm just going through now for another thing from a long-term perspective is i need to get the um our road crew upgraded because at the moment our road crew is using these things yeah uh, what we're gonna do is oops I think he's just left. Great. Where is our mechanisms? I suppose you're going to... No, I think you might be still be inside the building. Doesn't make any difference. We're going to get rid of him. Then we're going to send them to here. And then what we're going to do is pick up a steam bulldozer and i mean this axe is a both a this is an all-purpose vehicle i mean you can see the axe is an excavator a bulldozer a snow plow and a, a tractor as well and what we're going to do is put you into there so this is all purpose but i know i'm aware that you guys can't read the, the print on here very easily you can see that we've got a top um a top plowing speed of 18 kilometers an hour so while that sounds good the problem with clearing snow is 
um, the, there's no point having the snow plows going at 18 kilometers an hour um, to clear snow to for tra and then while they're actually plowing they're actually blocking the traffic so that's part of the problem we've got um, the other thing oh it looks like this bit is now finally finished so next thing I want to do I want to keep pushing through here and I'm going to remove this bit of road here to there and we're going to build this in and we're going to build a little short section here and then we're going to keep pushing through because I want to connect this up and then that me will make it easier to rework this road here yeah so um, and if I go over here and show you what the snow plowing options are if we come into here and I'll just show you the snow plows and if I do sort them by speed our fastest snow plow is this thing here which is 43 um, um, kilometers an hour which is pretty good this is the best one we've got here we got this one at 35 so so if we're going to be building snow plows we actually need this here this Russo bolt now uh, if we're going to be making snow um, buying snow plows I would like to know if I could actually um, well, how much the template will cost for this so if we come into here and look up snow plows that's not bad actually um, maybe I'm misrepresenting this I think we will buy this snowplow one. Um, we got the money for it. The auto, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be our snowplow. In fact, I think what I might, no, we won't. We're going to keep building these things at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to need a few of these. Now, one thing I didn't point out in the last part is that what you can do here is stop production where after the queue stops so what basically by ticking this you're saying i want infinite production of uh bulldozers which at the moment i do need because uh i i need the enhanced um road capability to be able to try and push things forward a bit actually we've got a spare slot here so i think are you you're in there, right. I think what I will do is take advantage of the spare slot and send you here as well. And then we'll send that bulldozer. So at the moment, I'm not going to worry too much about building the snow plows at the moment. And we'll send you there. And what that will, and so eventually, what we we'll want to do is end up by replacing all these with steam bulldozers. Actually, these guys have actually built out to here, which is pretty good, actually. Um, uh, what I would like to do then, seeing that these guys have gone out this way, is we're gonna. I think what I will do is just take out that and that um we'll build this through here to here because before we build this farm I want to actually gravel in the roads in fact I think I will do something like that just let these guys run now the next thing i want to talk about is here as you can see i've started getting a little bit of steel into here i have a kind of a, um one thing i have kind of made a decision on and i want to do this straight away um just i want to make sure that yeah this is all prefab through here I am going to upgrade to prefabs uh, here simply because it's going to be the only way we're really going to be able to how can you put it um it's going to be the only way we're really going to be able to um <laughs> uh, 
blind to gone blank to be able to upgrade this track so eventually once we get here i'm going to start upgrading this this i don't think we've got too late in the game to, to stick with the the wood uh, track so we're going to have to upgrade the track the one thing i will so we got this here so what we need to do now is somehow get a a track builder in here and if we go over to here i can find it and we come in here well got a lot of cues here what we got here oh it's the crops yeah the problem we got at the moment is we've run out of crops i'll talk a bit more about that we'll just do one thing at a time now to be able to get our track layer we've got to go to disassembled um, 162,000, yeah, well, <laughs> um, uh, I can't afford that. We can afford this little, um, packet, packet track layer, 1900 to 1975, 1912. Um, unfortunately with disassembled, it doesn't give us the track lane speed. I think we're going to have to go cheap. I'm a bit worried about this thing. I oh, know it says one touch. I think we will get this packet of 30 whatever it is now what we got to do now is come into here open up that and find out what open hole right it's a heavy steam hauler we've got to get so i need to borrow a heavy steam hauler from somewhere um can I borrow a heavy steam hauler? That's a waste hauler. Wait, I need a steam hauler. Because I don't really want to buy another one. Um, I think where I could get one from. Are you in there? Yes, you are. Right, we can borrow you for a little while. And we are put you into there because i don't think yeah you're not doing anything at the moment i've kind of lost um the construction thing but we will be giving them some construction work to do we've finished this and now another problem we are going to get is accommodation but i will come back to that now while that hauler is getting into position i want to show you down here we've got some vehicles already queued up for scrapping got six of them here so what i'm going to do is we're going to use our prison workforce to actually do that because uh, this, this is what you'd call temporary work uh, i think the tudor linen factory will be good enough and um, we're just going to put you in there remove you scrapping facility And what we'll do is just get the guys down here. I don't, I don't care how long it takes them to do it. But um, but we need someone there who would slowly scrap the vehicles according to what we need to do. Right. Uh, your job is to come and pick up that. And take the vehicle to there. And just to show you how it works, we bring you over here. And what you see is he would go into here, and what he should do if he's work if this works properly, he should come out with a little package on the back there like that. Just like that. And what he's going to do now is just transport the the actual track builder to the necessary um, building. Anyway, just going to wait for it to get to where we're going. And here we are. And what we're going to do now is send him back to where he came from. 
And what you'll find now is in here is we've now got a uh, track thing. Now, of course, you can see we, we need gravel. Now, um, haha. <laughs> Okay, well that's I forgot about the gravel. What I how are we doing here for gravel? Got 156 tons of gravel there. Okay, um, um, I don't really want to buy any more vehicles. We've got way too many vehicles running around here already. Uh, we've got a waste hauler here. I think what I will do for the moment is, as I say, the lay in the track is going to be a little bit of a long term, yeah, 150 tons. If I set, if we set that to 10%. Where are you going? Yeah, you're picking up from there. Um, I think what I might do is these guys are kind of sat around doing nothing. Where another one on there? Actually, it's these guys are just distributing coal to fueling stations and the aggregate load. I think borrow from here and put you in there okay so we've now got a this done now uh, what, I'm, what, what am I doing <laughs> sorry need to look at my list I've got a bit of a list in front of me to, to show what I want to do Right, the next thing I want to do is is the street sweeper. Now, what the street sweeper does is it acts as the same as a technical office, but what you do is you put a small amount of workforce into it. And what this workforce actually does is sweep the streets during... It says maximum production per workday. So what it's actually doing is constantly creating gravel all day long, all year, all, all year round. But what it also does is clear the snow, or it's supposed to. Now, I've only ever used this once, and I had a few problems with it, um, but that was a long time ago. Um, what I want to do is, we've got to make sure it's, now we need a workforce in here, so you can't put these down anywhere. I think what we'll do is we'll put you there. It was, a little mud road in there now what these actually do yeah we pick this our um, hunting huts under repair so we'll get the street sweeper built uh -huh. we're gonna put one there um, although I'm really tempted just to put one in to begin with um i think maybe we're we'll go for two in this town like that and then what i'm more interested in is trying to speed up this area here so we're gonna put in oh we've got fire great um, I think what I will do, I could get you So I don't want too many junctions on the main road. I think if I could get you if you were within walking distance of Yeah, I think we could just tuck you on this corner here and then just Put a little mud road in there and i think another place where it could be useful to have them have one is down here so we're just going to put two in each location 
if they don't work, they don't work, and that's all there is to it. I think if we put you there. So we're just going to build these street sweepers. They do need power. And as you saw, because there's workers in there, they, you, you've got uh, water and sewage. Okay, we've got a fire. Um, what's this here? Oh, the car park's on fire. <laughs> that reminds me. Uh, uh, that's another template that I want to look at. Um, have we got any gravel in here yet? No, we've got a little bit of... We've got another of fire, agree. Now we've got the, the dumps on fire. That should get solved. Um, we seem to be getting a lot, a few more, a little bit more fire here. Um... I don't want 200 workers in here. That's a dead set. We're going to drop you right down really low. Because this is just going to be a kind of thing running in the background. This is no fuel either. Of course, we've got to put fuel into game. It's going to be diesel. 10%. Yeah. I just want this to run very slowly in its own time. Anyway, back to uh, fire trucks. Templates. Ah, no, 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 no. Got to, buy, got to do it in the right place. Um, how many? Okay, we're out. Oh, I've clicked the wrong one. I should have unchecked that. Oh, we will do. Actually, I'm going to just get that going. Right. Template. Fire truck. We've got this Russian bolt here. Well, that's not bad, actually, for a template. That's got a speed level of nine. Wow. Okay. Uh, um, which is a lot better than all. The, oh, uh, we may have a new um thingy bob but i want to look at the personal car fire truck this is level three this is level four i think we are going to get some fire trucks and we're going to get this russian russell bolt yeah this came available in 1913. Uh, i think we're going to get that and then what we're going to do and what have we got here? What is this? This is the snow plow. Um, we're just going to start building fire trucks so we can upgrade uh, upgrade our fire fleet. Um, one thing I do need to be a bit careful of is we are getting a little bit sketchy on food now. So, although we do have... Uh, we've got no food over here. Okay, so we're going to have to be a bit careful now. We're only on the 14th of July and we're getting a little bit low on food. Just check here. we got food here. Um, whoops, looks in the wrong place. We've got plenty of food over here. So I think we may go into a food in, uh, import phase. Now, as far as I know... We do have a backup for food. Uh, let me just see. Custom shed. Yeah, we've got this one here. This is the fuel distribution. Uh, we come down to here. I'm going to push that to 40% on the corner market. Because we do need to ensure that we don't run out of food. Um, because we've only got a month. But you've got to remember is that 
that's when the possible harvest starts, not uh, things going, so. Uh, I think what I will do is how much alcohol have we got stored? 8 point something tons of alcohol. We're actually going to shut down the alcohol production. How much have we got in the way of clothes? We've got plenty of clothes, so we're okay. Um, just going to temper it. I mean, we've got, we've got 6.2 tons of crops of food over here as well, so uh, we're okay. I just want to be ultra cautious with respect to what we're actually doing. How I think what we will do is put you on there and there. I think we only need, I don't know. We'll get the street sweepers done. How about over here? Where are you, street sweeper? Road crew, ground crew. Now, here's another good exa th example, and it, it shows you why you need two construction offices in any one town. Because a, a, this office, or it's not this, this office, it's actually this office over here I can get here oops this office is actually under maintenance so because this is under maintenance so the what what this basically means is that these um, construction offices cannot maintain themselves now so what you need is uh, at least two construction offices here now one solution is if you especially if you're playing in 1960 if you've got a major construction office um, which has got um, doing most of the maintenance work all you've got to do is build a small one and set it to doing um, building repairs mm -hmm. and what that would do is pick up and actually do the maintenance uh, let me just come up here have we got any gravel into here yet yeah, we've now got our first little train being built. You can see it's very, very slow. But at the end of the day, especially the fact we've only got seven people on it. Now, eventually we're going to need to bring prefabs up here. Once this bit's been built, this is going to need prefabs. And of course, to get prefabs, we're going to need to bring them um, the prefab stuff up from here. Okay, we're pushing ahead quite well with the um, um we're gonna get that built and then what I'm gonna do is Aha uh -huh. you can come out. That's it's in there somewhere. So what we'll do is just build this in. In fact, what I could do is just do that. And then what that mean is that if this field starts to ripen, the trucks won't have to go all the way down to here and then back up again. Okay, so we've now got that there. We've got this done here. We should get our... We are going to need to collect the gravel from here. How are we doing over here? Looks like these guys are working a lot harder. So we do we, we need we may need to how much steel are we producing? Oh we're getting a little bit of steel. Our kind of main success here is the prefab battery. <laughs> In fact I think economy wise we're last month yeah I mean our biggest export is still clothes followed by meat and aluminium is just a an odd bonus we're exporting cement we got metal scrap we exported a tiny amount of electro components I'm not exactly sure why we did that um, 
and our imports now uh, obviously we got food contingency we've imported some steel um I put that that is not good I'm not sure that means somewhere I've got a construction office that is importing steel um You're not importing steel. You're not importing steel. Where's my... About the ground crew. Yeah. Uh, it could have been this ground crew. Oops. You're meant to be on there. Just check the other building ones as well. You're on that one. You're on that one. Yeah, I think it was that ground crew over here. Right, so we've now got this going here. We are pushing up a tiny amount of food. And um, I just want to check my... Okay, we're now producing fire engines. We've got... Uh, we've got a couple of bulldozers. Uh, I don't think we actually use bulldozers in here, do we? Yes, we do. Where are you? You're in here. I don't think these actually get because um, the bulldozers for groundworks now we uh, could replace this one um, actually is that the right one that's this maintenance two we're going to send you to there and we're send you to there I don't think maintenance one actually needs a bulldozer although let me just check the we've got the road crew over here where are you okay you're out here do it working I don't want to disrupt you um, where are you you're out there I think what I will do is this is whoops this is the road crew I think um, where's the ground crew you can go over to here as well we'll just have to spread our largesse around a bit and you and go in there right the next thing I want to check on is the fire train you've got to what have you got you've got Williams Thunderer I just want to check what we've really got probably need more on the way of fire trucks is over here um yeah i think we can get rid of the fire truck and well go and where are you you go there i think there's a second um, fire, fire station in this area let me just check now I know that I can do an auto replace but at the moment what I'm more interested in is uh, show wear and tear we might as well set that up tire map fire, fire stations nope 2000 meters no 
Right, we've got three fire stations here. You're up there. I'm not. I suppose in some ways, placing. No, we've got two good fire trucks in there. We've got a fire station there. Where's the third fire station? It's just here. Yeah, I think we could probably do with a better fire truck in there. And then we're let's pick up. I think we'll leave this on fire trucks until we've upgraded everything. Put a fire truck in there. Now I am building up this area here. This needs to be built as well. Don't I think that needs is the, again, it's jolly old asphalt. Where's the... I can never find the... Need to build this. And then what we can do is build in this enclave here. What I want, um, what I'm trying to do is push the population from here over to in this direction. But um, I'm not sure... Well... Well, these guys are doing okay. <laughs> Do I need a crossover here? I don't... I mean, to be honest, we're never really going to have multiple trains here because this is just so slow. Anyway, we're starting to lay some track. Now, uh, what are we on? The 23rd of July, we're, we're getting the harvest, we'll start flowing into here. Um, so eventually we will get some cr food produced here. So what I'm going to do now is all the output from here is going to go into here and get produced by this bakery here. Or not, there's no point shifting it across the map. Uh, I think we got away with this, so I think what we can do is open this up to try and make some more alcohol. Have we built the... Um, what we call it? Right, we've now got our street sweeper, and you can see what this street sweeper is doing is sweeping gravel all the time. And basically, I don't know if you can actually see the range. It's something that I've never been... They say this is a little bit of an experiment. Because... Um, but what we're going to need to do is pick this gravel up eventually. So we're going to need um, to get some... Make some money and get a... I mean, we've got a couple of slots here. I could get a dump of them somewhere. Actually, while we're here, just to show you. And um, what you can see here is we're picking up some little bits and pieces, but because the size of these vehicles are so small, we're not really picking that much up. But what I could do is I've got a distribution office I set up here somewhere here it is and um, what you are doing delivering I think what we can do is all the steel we pick up from here um, from the fairly skeptic from the scrapping here Can be either shipped to the wagon works or the rail construction office. Oh wow. This could be a problem.
No, it's not. All done. Right, we've got our rail sweeper there. How are we doing? Wow, these guys are flying. We're on the 1st of August. The harvest has started. <laughs> um, I'd be really... I think what I'm going to do is, can I get a road through there? Yep. And then what this will do is connect this up through here. And then we'll get actually have a gravel connection through here. That's good because what I'm going to need to do now is put the distribution office in. Uh, what I'll do is the fire trucks that are being produced, I will um, distribute those the best I can later on. So what we're going to need to do is press shift key, remove the roads here. Um, is what I want to do here is put in the rail distribution office well. Now, this is really super, super long term building. Um, where we got here, we got a junction there. Um, I think if we can get that in, get you there. And then I want to come out like that. Actually, we're going to come off of here as close as possible we are certainly getting a lot of fires which is a cause for concern now what i'm going to have to do here is put a crossover in if i can't get a crossover in then we got a problem now the reason i'm putting a crossover in here is that when you play in realistic mode and you deliver wagons to here, your train that does the delivery has to find a new path through. If he, if because if he comes in, say on this track, I know you can't see it, and then this track is only in one direction, so it needs to have that ability to be able to flip back to the other track. Now going the other way. Oh great. Um, oh that's great. Um, <laughs> it's not so great actually. Um, let's cancel that. Uh, cancel. We're going to need to try and do a little bit of leveling here. Try and smooth. Try and smooth that out a bit. Okay, let's try again. Concrete based. Um, we're actually going to run you out a little bit further. Be a bit generous for the track in this direction. It's done. Definitely done. Okay. Actually, I've just had a thought... Yeah, that's my fault. Sorry about that. Actually, there's a nice bit of serendipity here, actually. I can tidy the track up a little bit. And it means that I can probably put the crossover about there. And just select that. Um... One, th I am going to make a change here because I'm now, is this, yeah, this is the thingy. Yeah, what I'm going to do is remove that section there and just put you in there. And what I am going to do is put a railway connector in here like that uh, 
and hopefully we're going to come again this is super super long term actual planning and then we can just put a suspend this we don't want it built just yet this is for because the speed that we're going one we may want to start electrifying the line and two eventually we probably will get round to electrifying the line so what we need to do is kind of try and work that out at the moment that not connected not assigned to office is there a problem here I don't think that's actually physically connected um Has that been detected? Um, that's better. So we've now got this here. We've got our street sweepers here. The gravel's building up. Do I have any space? I need somehow to collect that gravel. Um, okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do in the short term is we've got some free distribution offices. And let me just see. I think I've still got some free distribution offices. It's going to show. Yeah, we've got. I'm going to shove a free distribution office there. And I'm going to purchase a dumper for dollars. What's the best we got from a capacity? 4.5 tons. Um, nine. Okay, we're going to get a couple of cheapo dumpers there. And we're going to tell you to load from there. And load from there. I know you're telling me that we don't have a dumper truck, but that's the way it is. And what we're going to do is tell it to unload 100%. Well, I think we've got, yeah, we've got plenty of space for gravel. So what we'll do is what's picked up from these sweepers can be then picked up from a move. In fact, uh, I think we're how much capacity here five tons yeah set this to 50 percent and what these can do is just dump the gravel into here and then so what we'll do is be able to use that for building our rail track let's see if these guys will they're past 50%. Let's just see what whether he's actually going to work. Oh, now, first thing they've got to do, of course, is go to the gas station. <laughs> oh, or, in this case, go and fill up with coal. So, what he's going to do... Yeah, he, he's going to do it. You can see down here. So, he, he's going to keep that empty. Um, we're going to have to probably need to do the same over here. Yeah, 121 tons of bricks. Right. Now, this one's going to be... Uh, right. If we built the street sweepers here... Uh, uh -huh. Where did I build them? There's, a, there's street sweeper number one. Um, there's street sweeper number two I think what we will do is exactly the same what's this here 
Oh yeah, we're still building this, aren't we? Oh, I forgot all about this. Um, wait, guys, can you? Why does that say there's not a connection? Oh, I think that's because this road was built in two sections. So it needs to be reconnected. And we're, let's get that built as well. Right, we're get both these guys. I don't think I think they're any in repair mode at the moment, so and we we'll get you there and there. Then what I'm gonna do is tuck the where is it? We got the yeah, we got this area here. So if we put a free distribution office just about here. Actually, I'm just going to put it out there. We can put it here. It's not going to cause any that much in the way of problems. And again, we're by, by a couple of them. I can find them again. Um, 50%. And you can take the gravel to there. A hundred percent. How are we doing here? Okay, we're back in business from here. And we... Yep. So that is going good. Now, the in order to be able to build this, our next task is well, next task is to put the road back in. <laughs> um, we're going to plan it with mud roads because I don't want the game to get distracted building a road out here. Um, put that there, suspend construction, and what we will do is we need to connect this up, and we're got to actually, something tells me that this right bit of road could get a bit busy, so I think what we will do is but a little section of road there. And we'll build a roundabout here. Like that. Hook you up there. It's no good. The angle's too sharp. Now I've now got a you can come in like that. You can come in like that. Go out that way. And take out that node there, that node there. Come there, come there. Don't really want that there, so we can. I want to keep this. Thank you, game. Whoops. Well, I'll just put that right there. Um, 
this bit is built so we can take out we've got to be a little bit careful here that will get these guys into here get this bit finished and then we'll have a gravel road all the way through here okay i'm running out of time on this video so this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming